All right, so I'm going to put three compounds on the board now. All right, so hold on. Just remember now, hydrogen bonding is the strongest. So when it comes to boiling point and melting point, hydrogen bonding will be the strongest one, followed by temporary, sorry, followed by permanent dipoles, and lastly, Van der Waals forces. All right. So just bear that in mind. All right, so this is compound A. Excuse me, sir. Yes, go ahead. Could you please? All right, so in terms of strength of the intermolecular force, hydrogen bonding is the strongest intermolecular force of attraction. Hold on, give me a second. So hydrogen bonding is the strongest. After hydrogen bonding, it's the permanent dipole. So the reason why I put the dipole, dipole, because remember it's the interaction between two permanent that dipoles, that will be the attraction. And then, so, then you will have Van der Waals, which is the weakest. And remember, this is for, for non-polar compounds. And this one is for polar compounds. Hydrogen bonding is also polar, but this time it's hydrogen with electron negative atom. So in the three diagrams, these are the things you are going to look out for. So that's compound B. So you have to arrange them in order of increasing boiling point with the, with the lowest boiling point first. All right, so that's A, B, and C. So remember, arrange them in terms of boiling point. All right, let me write it down.
you can text me your answers. And so if you finish and want to share them, you can do so. All right, so let me see some of these answers. All right. So let's see. Remember, hydrogen bonding is the strongest. All right. That is correct. Um, regarding to Christine. No, it's ethanol, not propanol. The second one. The second one. It's ethanol. I'm not sure which year it is. It's, it's from a booklet. Let me check. Oh, yeah, it's propanol. Yes, yeah, it's propanol. But it wouldn't change, it wouldn't change the answer, even though it's propanol. All right. So I'm going to fix it. Hold on. Oh, so it was this, all right. All right, so I'm seeing most persons saying C, B, A. I'm, all right, I'm seeing C, B, A for, for most persons. One person said C, A, B. The C, A, B person is correct. I saw one yes, person. C, A, B. Right. So, all right, so let us see what they asked. I place substance A, B, and C in order of increasing boiling point. That means you place the one with the lowest boiling point first. Everybody start out with C, which is good. That means everyone can identify Van der Waals forces. So everyone see that it's carbon and hydrogen. That's a non-polar compound. All right, so this is non-polar. And once it's non, hold on, all right. Once it's non-polar, it will be Van der Waals forces. Now it seems they are mixing up the permanent dipole with hydrogen bonding, I'm not sure. All right, so let's look at A. We have carbon bonded to an oxygen atom. So that's permanent dipole, not hydrogen bonding. And if you look at how we rank them, hydrogen bonding is the strongest, right? So strongest, weakest, hydrogen bonding is the strongest, Van der Waals is the weakest. Go ahead. Um, the question is in, in order of increasing boiling point. The one right. already, the highest boiling point to go down. At the top. As the iron, I would say, you said the C, you said the... So you would start with the weakest one, then the intermediate, then the highest, right? Yeah. So next, oh. down, we don't go the other way around. The weakest one would be um, the one that the half the OH. As in, so OH would come at the end. As in C, A, then B. From the lowest to the highest. Why the alcohol? Um, alcohol one. So. Remember, alcohol of hydrogen bonding. The the OH. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. 
So this is right. So this is it right here. Mm -hmm. So the alcohol as in hydrogen bonding. And this is your propanone, right? It's permanent dipole. So this one has been permanent, permanent dipole. This one is hydrogen bonding. All right. And as we said, this one was Van der Waals force. So we know that Van der Waals is the weakest, hydrogen is the strongest. All right. And so this one is in between. All right. So I could explain how C is not hydrogen bonding. Oh, C. Oh, so C, remember for hydrogen bonding, you want it to be. Hydrogen should be with a very electronegative atom. Carbon is not that. All right. So the reason why C is not hydrogen bonding, the, the electronegativities of carbon and hydrogen are close. All right. So hydrogen must be with a very electronegative atom like oxygen, nitrogen, fluorine. All right. Carbon is not that electronegative to cause any uneven sharing of electrons. So that is why it is nonpolar. So in with the CH bond, electronegativity is similar. So there's no uneven sharing of electron to cause one atom to be slightly positive and the next to be slightly negative. All right. All right.